Welcome back to Star Trek Starfleet Command, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're going to be finishing off our look at the United Federation of Planets uh, with their most powerful starship type, the Dreadnought. These include two ships that were never seen in the TMP era, but generally are a good fit. Behold the Ulysses class. A split neck design, kind of reminiscent of STO's Odyssey class. A roll bar. It's like a FASA refit of the... Well... Federation class. And it looks like we're actually facing a D7. Dreadnoughts... should not go alone. Period. I'm only going alone because, well... I kind of dictate the terms of the fight here. Because Dreadnoughts, while they have a lot of guns and a lot of firepower... They're slow. And the only... And normally, they run into other dreadnoughts. In fact, a proper way of escorting these things is with a... Well... A couple of frigates. Or in this case, a couple of war destroyers. Because now we can have a nice, big brawl. And, of course, it immediately goes to the heaviest one, because it wants to. Yeah, missiles... There's a race in SFC2, the Mirak, who have pretty much, much an all-missile mindset. They're related to the Lyrans, who will uh, probably be seen later on. Is there a reason you guys aren't even firing? Okay, then, fine. We'll set you to proximity mode. See if I care. Proximity mode does less damage, but... higher chance to hit. Yeesh, that guy's in for a bad day. Divine Slayer. Is that a reference to the fact that the Klingons killed their own gods? Yeah, there's an overload mode. Longer to, longer to load the torpedoes, but does more damage. Not as high a chance to hit, though. 
Of course, even the Dreadnought must take a back seat to the most powerful starship in Starfleet Command. The Battleship. Even Dreadnoughts fear the Battleship. And with good freaking reason. Eight forward firing photon torpedo launchers, two aft firing ones, phasers out the rear end, missile launchers. You do not want to be fighting a battleship. You want to be running away from a battleship. And the Yamato class a unique Excelsior esque design Ah oh yes, Gatling Phasers. We'll have to talk about those, won't we? They're effectively a Phaser 1 that can fire four times. They were invented by an ally of the Federation, the Hydrons. Of course, as you might have guessed, battleships are slow and ungainly. But slow and ungainly as they may be, they're still engines of destruction. But there's only one way to beat a battleship, and that's if you have a battle group. Which in this case is going to include a pair of Bismarck subtype Excelsiors with their plasma torpedoes. Where's the enemy support for? Oh, now I just feel bad. Well, that's battleships for the Federation. Tomorrow we move on to another more... Honorable side of things. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.